Hello everybody, welcome back with me uh, to my channel uh, with me Jonas Andersson. Uh, today is a fantastic day. We gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you how I do a cider. Unfortunately it's springtime in Sweden so I don't have access to fresh fruits. I'm doing this on a juice base. It's gonna be in the end a passion uh, peach uh, cider but, but the base is with pear, pear juice. Uh, so um, yeah, why don't we start the video? Come on, let's begin. Okay, so today, uh, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, it's not fly time today, but today uh, when we go on our fishing trips we have nice beers, ciders, wine, self-made. Uh, so I thought, hey, let me, let me shoot a video on how I do my cider. Um, Actually, there's no fresh fruit uh, currently in Sweden. It's springtime, so I bought a package uh, with a bit of uh, concentrated fruit. And uh, this one is passion and peach uh, from, from uh, uh, Mango Jacks. So, first of all, very important, you need to clean all your stuff with uh, disinfection. Uh, so, let's start doing that one. Can you clean one as well? So I'm just gonna clean up everything I'm gonna use. Start with this one. This one is in glass, you need to be careful with it. You, you measure the OK and then when you're done out okay, here to make sure you know which uh, alcohol level you are. Let me just start carefully. Uh, sound. So I'm going to turn off the sound here. Sorry. So that one is clean, so moving on to the next one. I'm gonna do this one in a 30 uh, liter bucket. It's gonna be around 23, 24 liters. This one is handy when you need to uh, when you put in the sugar and everything. So you want to blend everything together. And this one I'm gonna use to add water to the bucket. And there we are. Just a few things you need really. <laughs> Strange angle. I got my bucket, but now I need to uh, put in some like in four liters of hot water. So let me start with that one.
that's time to open this one. This is the first time I use uh, this product. So it's going to be interesting. So I'm just cutting it open. Uh, let me turn the camera. So I'm just cutting it open here. To see what we got inside. Oh, smells really good. And here you have your yeast and everything. So, changing camera again. Now we're going to pour all this lovely flavored fruit. use that one to pour hot water in. <coughs> so we have CDS ammo tone. We have peach and passion fruit flavors. This one is actually pear. Uh, pear uh, fruit mix. We have a, a sweetener. Next part uh, sugar. They say uh, one kilo, and, but I want a bit stronger cider, so I'm gonna try maybe one and a half, uh, yeah, one and a half something. So I'm just gonna pour it down here. That should do it, I think. Ah. That's too great. So we're aiming for a strong side around 8 to 10 percent maybe. So now I need to mix everything together so the sugar dissolves in the water. Meanwhile, we can take the peach uh, and passion fruit flavor. Add that one in. Oh. We have a sweetener. Half, just to make sure it's not too uh, too sweet. There we are. Now maybe a little bit more. There we are. Throw that away. Continuous blending a bit. So 
now it's time to uh, uh, add uh, up to 23 liter of water and then we're gonna uh, put down the yeast I use my normal tap water, it's perfect. Um, you can have your own well or whatever, it might be better, but it's sweet and the tap water is uh, really, really good. To make sure I get all the flavors, I'm gonna use this one as well. It says at least one deciliter in it. Let's continue. We want to have all the flavors possible, right? So let me see where we are. 19, 20. It's a bit more. More. There we are, 23 liter. So let me change the angle a bit. So just gonna blend this together. And the temperature is good, should be between 18 to 24 or something. That means I can add the yeast immediately, I don't need to wait. M02 cider yeast, mangrove jacks. So let's try this one out. It's a dry yeast. So I'm just blending it together. And then let me get my book. This one is a bit important. You can still see the bucket. One second. So I always write down. So I start with the new page cider. I just need to measure the OD. So now I know the, the value beforehand and then when it's done uh, I can take a new sample and then I know uh, what the alcohol I have in, in the brew or in the cedar in this case. So this one has been cleaned up as well. So, 
I need to carry it. I may put it there. So secure it properly. Make sure it's really, really closed. Add this one on top, so now no, no uh, additional air can enter the, the bucket. Let me write up the OG, OG 1063. It's going to be interesting. So. I'm gonna put it in, in, in my room and then uh, let's see what happens. Uh, maybe it starts tomorrow, then I continue the video and we can have a look. Yesterday I started this cider, uh, so this is uh, the morning after. And <laughs> as you see, it's really working well. So, cider in production. And here is the mead I got. That's gonna be interesting as well. And here I got some nice uh, bottles for the cider. Okay. So now it's just uh, a matter of uh, waiting until uh, it's done. And then I continue this video. So, the side is ready. No more action. And so it's time to have a look at the results. And as you see, I need to clear this one up. It's still got a lot of fruit and things in it. So I need to apply two different uh, uh, chemicals. So the first one is cheese cell. So I'm gonna pour that one in. Second one is gelatin. The dog is urinating. So the gelatin goes in as well. Let's put everything inside. And then Stir a bit to mix everything together. I think that was doing it. Mm. Peach and stuff. So, that one over there. Putting the lid back to make sure you don't get any bacteria inside. And then wait for another two to three days before moving it to, to another uh, bucket. So, next step of this cider, um, I'm gonna de de disinfect everything uh, all these uh, corks, all these bottles. Uh, it's gonna be quite a few. Uh, but let's start over here. Some disinfection here, and also for the bottle washer. Here we are. So I start taking this one, put it down here, and then I just pour all these corks. Like I 
silk turbine. We don't get any bacteria or whatever over there. Let me remove the plastic. So let's start with the bottle. I'm gonna show, show how I do with two bottles. So you don't need to look at everything. 50 centiliter bottles. Nice and clean. And then just the outside, you never know. We have some regular tap water. And that was one. So let's do the second one, I have two sizes, Oops. 75 centiliters and also 50 centiliters. Now I'm just going to repeat that to death. <laughs> we saw the table with all the bottles. It's going to take a while. And uh, then it's the next step. Um, so when all, everything is dry, we're going to tap everything and the cider into the bottle and use this uh, sugar bombs. I'm going to show you that later. Thank you. Now all the bottles have uh, these sugar drops in the 50 centiliters. It's one and a half. And in the big ones, it's two tablets uh, to make uh, uh, the carbonate. So let's start to fill these uh, bottles up. Now the cider has been in the yeah in the bottle for almost one and a half weeks. So let's have a look and see how it is. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, sounds good. Yes, guys. Perfect. So basically, that's how you do uh, home brewed uh, cider. Uh, 
you can buy an um, all-inclusive pack or with everything you need to do it all. You can do it the hard way that I hope I can do in my next homebrewing video. Unless I do a wine first or a beer, I'm not sure. But uh, it's super easy, it just takes six to eight weeks and you know, then it can stay on the bottle for you know, forever. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do hit the thumbs up, if you want me to brew anything else just let me know and uh, yeah, it, it's a great cider, it's a, I, I like it, it, my wife likes it as well. So see you in the next video and uh, stay safe, bye.